Tom Halliwell Podcast 2 and today I'm chilling out, I'm working on my new book that will be out next month, uh, The Beginner Guitar Guide and I'm working on an online guitar course for beginners too so that's all exciting stuff but having a rather chilled out day today as last night was an epic night I had a gig with my band Origami Heart and it was a great gig great gig, great audience um, there were great bands playing and to add to that, all the vibes of Halloween, ghosts, everyone was dressing up and it was awesome. We went as prisoners, which was quite funny. And yeah, just really great gig. I, we turned up, we had our own dressing room, we had our own backstage part. Um, and the organisers even gave us uh, some like cakes and drinks. So that's very rock and roll, love it. So today's topic is getting started with guitar. That's for all you people who want to play guitar, you don't know how to get started, or maybe you have a guitar um, and you still haven't got started. And that sounds a bit, um, Sounds a bit weird or shall we say, sounds a bit unusual. Yeah, why would someone buy a guitar but then never play it? But it's very common. You know, I've had quite a lot of students who phone me up and they want to get started with guitar and they've had a guitar for like a whole entire year or sometimes two years and sometimes 30 years. They've always had a guitar, they want to play it, but they just don't. So we question that, why, why does that happen? And it's very common. So if you've got a guitar and you haven't played it, you're not alone. And if you're looking to get into guitar or if you think, okay, I want to play guitar, but maybe I'm, I'm too old, too young, or uh, my hands are too big, I'm not musical, um, this podcast is for you. So, yeah, I've just told you the common myths that a lot of people have. So we'll just go over them basically and so the first myth is yeah I'm too old for guitar maybe you're in your 70s maybe you're in your 60s maybe you're even in your 40s or 50s and you think you're too old um, but it's not true being too old it really doesn't matter on age what matters more is consistency and practice that will always override things like age okay um i i say yes if anyone can start guitar as long as they're age you know four and above anyone can start yes if you're 70 i've taught 70 year olds um, i'm starting a 73 year old student next week and yeah you're never too old and guess what every year that goes by you're only going to get older so you may as well start now anyway and as long as you get the right method and you learn a guitar in the right and correct way yeah if your teacher yeah tries to jam a load of chords down you on your first lesson you're not going to pick it up and you're going to give up of course but everyone's like that um and for the young guys um you know maybe you're a parent listening to this uh the the little young kids who are age four sometimes three you can they can still start guitar um i would say age two to four you won't really be playing much guitar they'll just play a couple of strings uh do a bit of picking and we'll do a lot of like clapping and getting rhythm exercises things like that and we'll do very basic very basic one finger on the fretboard fins and you'll do that for about two years until they get to about four or five and that's when they can basically learn like anyone else um, obviously the practice sessions for four or five year olds do need to be short they need to be 10 minutes if your child or if the kid wants to carry on playing then that's great let them but most of the time they don't from what I figured out um, 
So the best thing is to do is to, yeah, 10 minute practice sessions every day consistency yeah we're going to be speaking about consistency a bit later on what's another common myth okay my hands are too big that's again just an excuse not to play or not to practice um you know hands being too small or too big Again, it really doesn't matter. You always find a way how to play these chords. You might have a slight, slight, slight disadvantage if your hands are too small for some of the complex stuff later on. So maybe you might not be able to do Eddie Van Halen uh, fingerings for scales, but definitely you're going to be learning the basics. You can do chords. Um, if a seven-year-old can play some chords, I'm sure, you know, you with your small hands as an adult can play chords. So again, it's all about starting off on the right foot, starting off correctly. I'm not musical or I don't have talent. That's another common myth I hear. And I don't believe in talent. I don't believe in superstition or some mythical talented person that when you're born all of a sudden you've got the genes of being a good guitarist. I don't believe in that. You know, we're all, we all start off the same in this world. And the people that succeed are the people that put in more hours than the others. Yeah, maybe if someone started piano at age 5 to age 9 and then started guitar at 11, they have an advantage over someone who hasn't done music at all. True. But we've all got the same um, anatomy, we all got the same muscles, and we all got the same, we all start off on the same level. So the talent myth, yeah, I, I don't believe it. Um, because if you look at all the pro professional players, look at Randy Rose, look at Slash, look at Jimi Hendrix, look at Jimmy Page. All of them, Eddie Van Halen, all of the greatest and quote-unquote most talented guitar players in this world, they've all had one thing in common. They've all put in massive amount of hours. When we talk in massive, we're talking massive. Eddie Van Halen, I read up a lot about him and he used to practice something ridiculous like 8 to 12 hours a day and I think he used to stay up all night practicing until 4am in the morning um, see that's massive amount of action but people just see the final product people just see him on stage shredding away um, and think oh my god he's so talented he must have been born with that when they totally don't see the thousands of hours that he's put in um, beforehand to get to that stage so just think all the final products that you see all the final you know Randy Rhodes at his best they've all put in their thousands thousands of hours beforehand and that's what you need to do if you want to get that good as well there's no secret to becoming professional there's no quick fix there's no yeah, this is the one guitar trick and you'll learn this trick and then you can be a guitar hero or master. No, 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 no. It's all thousands of hours. Thousands of hours. Okay. And of course, you can do things that um, cuts out your learning curve so you can become better um, quicker. And we'll speak about that maybe later in other podcasts about how can you maximize your time to um, get very good and improve maybe double the speed that a normal person does um so let's dive into the podcast um i've got it down to about five steps yeah there's about five steps um to getting started with guitar and the first one sounds so simple but it's so true buy a guitar the amount of people that spend just um, thinking about it, you know, oh, I want to play guitar one day. Oh, I wish I played guitar. 
and they don't even buy a guitar they just spend all day thinking about it and you'll never play guitar if you don't buy a guitar so um, what I say is don't wait to see if you like it because that's another thing I'm I get a lot of people that ask and they say well I need to can I just use your guitar um, or borrow a guitar every week every lesson um, for a few months until you know I need to see if I like it first and um, I just say you shouldn't do that you should buy a guitar and go I'm gonna become a guitar player that's you can choose that you know you shouldn't pick up a guitar and think right let's see if I like it because to be honest the first three months most likely you're not gonna like it because we don't like in this world what we're not good at um, there's loads of things that I'm not good at and I don't like them I don't like dancing I'm not good at dancing I don't like swimming and I can't swim so we like the things that we're good at but we seem to not like the things we're not good at so waiting around to see if you're gonna like guitar you're not gonna like it in the first three months you need to just buy a guitar and have the goal and know that in three months, in six months, if you learn the correct way, you will love it. Um, the next question with buying a guitar is acoustic or electric? Oh, it's easier to start on acoustic, a lot of people say. And I, I think it's not true. Buying, I would say, whether you start on acoustic or electric, it's down to um, what style you're going to play. Now, I've released a YouTube video quickly about it, but I'll go into more depth now. So if you're thinking of becoming a rock guitar player, definitely buy an electric. Buy an electric guitar for the first one. Um, if you're thinking of becoming a pop guitarist, acoustic, you want to sing along with it, yeah, buy an acoustic for your first guitar. Um, it really doesn't matter if you learn on electric or acoustic. None of them are easier. They're, they feel a bit different. Um, so for an electric, the strings are closer to the frets. So it's actually easier to push down. Um, but an acoustic, it's obviously you don't need to buy an amplifier. Um, so it's a lot more, what's the word, convenient for someone starting guitar because they just need the guitar. With an electric you've got to plug it in and plug it into the amplifier and then you've got to know about how to change the sound on the amplifier. And that's really the, the advantages and disadvantages with an acoustic and electric. Um, acoustic, yeah, it's a, it might cut your fingers a bit more. Um, if we're talking about steel string acoustics, because there's another thing about classical guitars with the nylon strings, um, you know, the free strings that look like plastic. I, again, I, I don't know. If you want to become a classical guitarist, learn on it, but you, I don't really recommend those guitars for your first guitar anyway, because all you do is learn uh, you, you play on a classical guitar for the first two to three months and then you start playing, um, learning songs and learning some performance pieces and then you just want a new guitar anyway because you, you it doesn't give you the sound that you want. So buy an acoustic, buy an electric, I would avoid classical guitar unless you want to get into classical guitar. So that brings me to, um, oh one thing about step number one as well is do not learn theory first. Don't feel that you have to learn musical theory before you even start guitar. Um, it sounds weird, but some people do it. And some teachers teach it, and I don't even understand why. Um, step number two is you've got your guitar. Now play it, yeah? You'll be surprised, like I said, is how many people have a guitar and they don't even play it. They just let it collect dust. You don't want to be in that category. You want to start simply. You don't want to um, overcomplicate things. Now, starting guitar, 
a lot of people will buy guitar guides and they'll buy like learn guitar in 30 days um, and obviously those books promise something but they won't deliver what they promise they say learn guitar in 30 days and you get to 30 days and you've haven't even practiced or you've opened the first two pages and they are starting to, what do they teach you a lot of guitar guides start teaching you string names first and teaching you like the parts of a guitar and this is this and this is a pickup and this is a neck and it's just all confusing for you um i would start with picking on one string yeah so you're getting a feel for the guitar down on um the thicker string and up on the thicker string now i go over it watch my beginner guitar lesson i think it's on youtube uh picking watch that video and obviously next month i will be releasing my guitar guide which will take a beginner from who knows nothing about guitar to the first three months of their playing and how it should be and how structured it is um that's a cheeky little upsell <laughs> So yeah, yeah, definitely. Start simply. Start with picking. Start with one finger chords. Yeah. Uh, if if you if you're reading these books and they're teaching you like three finger chords on six strings, um, definitely do not start with that because that will you realise it's hard. It won't sound good, and you'll give up because we don't like things that we're not good at um yeah so that's that and as i'm then after you learn those one finger chords you'll be learning your three string arpeggios and that's just picking down on string number three down on string number two up on string number one up on string number two and it goes it's just doing that and then you can add your one finger chords when you're comfortable with the picking yeah so we're breaking things down super simple if this sounds complicated for you um don't worry I uh, in december or january i'll have my beginner guitar course out that's coming out and it's a video course showing you again the first three months of guitar playing so if you're getting confused already um you can watch my free videos that i've got on picking chords and arpeggios on youtube um and then i've got my full guitar course for beginners for people who haven't touched a guitar um so that course would be for you guys anyway so step number three is um consistency once you once you know or once um you know you've you've you're starting to practice your picking you're starting to practice your one finger chords you've bought a guitar the next thing is consistency you need to be playing it every single day if you're not playing guitar every day yeah your results are going to be weird they you're either going to get it or not so you need to be very consistent um that means 15 minutes a day 20 minutes a day half an hour i say all my adult students if you can do half an hour that's great if your age uh 7 to 12 20 minutes is fine and if you're under seven uh 10 minutes so that's what i would say and again you you got to accept that your fingers will hurt you know you you think your left hand fingers will hurt a little bit from the strings and that's okay that's totally normal that doesn't mean that you, guitar's not for you or you don't have talent and you should accept that at the start for the first three months you're not really going to sound too good yeah there'll be little parts of the guitar playing that will sound great but you're not going to sound like slash in three months you know he's been playing for years 10 20 years 30 years i don't know something like that so just accept that and the more you practice and the more consistency that you have so you practice seven times a week and you do half an hour every day um the more it comes of routine and that's what you want you want a routine where it's it's kind of like brushing your teeth you always brush your teeth because it's a routine you always have a bath you want guitar practice to 
be like that as well. So I always recommend having one particular time slot every single day that you can do and make that time just for guitar. Turn off your phone, turn off Facebook, make it just for guitar. And yeah, the better you get, so the more you practice and with consistency, the better you will get. And this is where it gets interesting because the better you get, the, the, the more you actually start to want to play. So I've got a great student called Connor really wonderful student he's been playing guitar for six weeks now and i'm amazed by his results he's already learned his first performance piece and this week he's practicing his second performance piece and i feel now he's starting to really get into guitar because at first you're thinking is guitar for me and all that stuff but now he knows he can play guitar he knows that it's all about action taking, it's all about consistency, it's all about repetition. And now he's like, wow, so if I, you know, I taught him this performance piece and he got kind of, he could play it at a very, very slow pace, which is fine, normal. Um, he's going to be practicing it all this week because he knows repetition. He will be able to do it if he keeps repeating it. And I'm very looking forward to Thursday where he's going to play it for me. If you're thinking of guitar, I would say within your first four weeks you can play a performance piece. Um, that could be a simple thing like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, it can be a little melody, melodic type of uh, song. It could be Ode to Joy. Yeah, you can play that within four weeks. Anyway, step number four is find a good teacher or enroll in a good course. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, yeah, find a good teacher. This is crucial because this can make or break your confidence. If you've got a, a bad teacher who maybe even has good intentions, but he just, yeah, he's complicating things too much for you. He's teaching you um in he's not breaking things down enough for you it's going to destroy your confidence and you will give up and feel like guitar's not for you yeah and you will feel like um there's a certain percentage of people who you know guitars you know born into their genes that they can just play guitar but there's a certain percentage that can't it's all down to the teacher and so that's why I say find a good teacher and yeah, it's very hard to know what a good teacher is because every teacher on the internet is saying they're a good teacher. But ask them these three questions. Ask them, first of all, do you have a structured learning process? Yeah, do you have structure to your lessons? Or are you just... Um, you know making up the lessons as you go what's what's the structure yeah they they you know they might ask yeah, yeah they, i do have structure and that's great um then just say are you going to teach me more than just my favorite songs because uh, a big thing what teachers seem to do let me just see how time, 24 minutes, okay, we've got five minutes, that's fine. Basically, are you going to teach me more than just my favorite songs? A lot of guitar teachers will teach just songs to you, yeah? They will do that just to keep you as a student. They'll be like, right, all I gotta do, write a list of your favorite songs, you write a list on the first lesson of your favorite songs, um, they might teach you a C chord on the first lesson and then they'll go home, look at all the songs and go, right, I know that one, let me teach that one to him. And then what they do is just teach you your favourite songs. So you hoping that you stay happy and that you carry on uh, tutoring with them. It's a bad idea because you don't learn the fundamentals of guitar. Yeah, you, you can just, you just have the skill to play a song if you don't give up. You have a skill to play a song, but you don't even understand the song. You don't understand anything about guitar. Yeah, so you couldn't speak to a, a musician. So um, it's, it's crucial you learn the fundamentals of guitar. You learn what picking is, you know what chords are, you know what arpeggios are, you know what scales are. Yeah, you learn all those things and then 
when you start learning songs, you go, ah, this part of the song is from that scale. I understand it. And when you understand it, it's easier to remember and easier to play. So I give an example. I taught my student Connor. I taught him Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And the week before or two weeks before, he learned uh, the he learned the C major scale. And so I taught Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it was using a C major scale. Perfect example. And he understood it much better because he's already played the scale. Um, and the next question you need to ask the teacher is what results can I expect in three months? Yeah. Say, what can I expect in three months? A lot of teachers go, um, I don't know. It depends how good you are. It depends on the person. And if they're saying it depends on the person, depends on all this, they're not really following the structure because as a teacher, you need to have dates where you're thinking right this student should yeah some students learn a bit faster than others but um if they all practice they all pretty much learn at a very similar speed so where can you well where students can be my students can be in three months is they can have three to four performance pieces um, that they can play. They understand the fundamentals of guitar. They know what a picking is. They know arpeggios. They know scales, chords. They know. Um, they they even can listen to a song and tell if the the chord pattern is going higher or lower. Um, yeah, they just know. They will have a basic understanding of guitar, which they might not be able to play three, um, sorry, six string chords on three, with three fingers, or they might not be able to play um, three note per string scales, but they will understand what they are. And that's crucial, because the skill levels we can amp up and we can keep going, keep going, keep going, that's what we do. You just learn the fundamentals of guitar and then increase the skill on each of the fundamentals and you become a better guitar player. Um, so that's that. Um, step number five, last step before I go, is massive action and inspiration. So once you learn all those steps, yeah, once you can pick up your guitar every day, consistency, and once you're learning from a good teacher and you're going through a structured program or method, then what separates good guitar players from okay guitar players and from the guitar gods is massive action. Absolutely, that's the only thing that separates them, is the guy who can pick up his guitar and spend eight hours practicing awesome things. When I say awesome things, I mean things that do improve your results, not just like noodling away. Um, so massive action, and I would say stay inspired. So I used to watch an Iron Maiden DVD every single night because it kept me alive for the next morning. I'd wake up and be like, right, I need to be Adrian Smith on stage. So I wake up and now start playing the guitar, um, get home from school, play guitar, watch the DVD at night, go to bed dreaming about being a rock star, wake up and continue that cycle for a good two years, I think. And yeah, don't fall into the trap of just listening to music and daydreaming about being a good guitar player. Actually become one. And how you do that is obviously 90% of your uh, time needs to go into playing guitar and 10% can go listening to guitarists or even listening to music. But make sure you're taking action 90% into guitar. So that looks like a good podcast. It's yet yeah, just been 30 minutes and um, I'm enjoying this new dictaphone that I've just bought. So there's the podcast. Let's wrap up by saying that there is no talent and if you want to get started with guitar definitely get started buy a guitar play a guitar don't leave it to collect dust make time for guitar half an hour a day you can do it everyone can do it i'm sure and um don't give up yeah find the right method 
uh, cheeky little upsell. My book's my book's coming out next month in November, but you probably still need a good tutor to go through that with you. And um, uh, I've got a video course for beginners, guitarists, coming out in, I would say, end of December to January, start of January. Um, I'm recording it in the end of November, then editing it. So I would say end of December. And that'll be for you guys um, who really want to play guitar but don't know where to start. I'm going to put everything out so simply that you're going to follow along with each of these lessons. And you're going to get to the end of the course and you will be able to play three or four performance pieces. And you will understand the fundamentals of guitar. So thanks a lot people, um, I'm going to go and eat some dinner now as I'm real hungry and then work on my projects a bit more. Ta-da, have a good day everyone.